Reading of item number, SCP-011 Ascension Civil War Memorial Statue. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, Item SCP-011 and the area surrounding it are to be cleaned once every day. For safety purposes, cleaning should start at least 30 minutes after sundown. Cleaning should always be performed by at least two personnel, who are also advised to note anything unusual about the item or the debris cleaned up. In a situation where the item cannot be cleaned for more than two days, local residents must be contacted and instructed not to approach the item. Containment Procedures Nullified 2004 Description SCP-011 is a Civil War Memorial statue located in Woodstock, Vermont. The statue is the image of a young male soldier holding a musket at his side, and is carved out of granite quarried within the area. Occasionally, SCP-011 has been observed lifting its musket to the sky to fire at birds which attempt to land or defecate on it. Reports detail that its movements produce soft grinding sounds but do not cause it any structural failure. Oddly, the gunfire is very similar to that of a standard firearm, despite observations that the item only loads granite bullets and granite powder into the musket, which is also unharmed by the firing. In spite of its efforts, some fecal matter does manage to strike SCP-011, and it has reportedly become distressed when it has had a large amount of feces on it, on some rare occasions even firing at humans. Addendum those assigned to maintain SCP-011 are to see document number 011-1 for instructions. Document number 011-1, Maintenance Brief. Document Archive 2004, accessible to personnel with security clearance 2-011 or higher. Additional information, SCP-011-S seeming sentience has increased since the first report of activity in 1995. As of 2004, the item's containment procedures have been dropped but it remains under constant observation. Recorded below are landmark events in its activity. Timeline March 12, 1995, Woodstock resident reports the statue's eyes moving, first sign of activity. September 30, 1995, statue shoots musket for the first time. October 9, 1995, Statue begins shooting birds from the sky. January 25, 1996, registration as SCP-011, containment procedures begin. April 14, 1997, SCP-011 observed moving casually and looking around. May 3, 2000, after caretaker data expunged jokingly shouts good shot. To SCP-011, the item replies, thank you in a reportedly very human voice, first speech from statue. October 22, 2001, SCP-011 has conversation with caretaker data expunged. 2001, shooting of birds stops. February 6, 2002, at the imploring of data expunged, SCP-011 steps down from its pedestal. 2003-2004, SCP-011 reaches a human level of self-awareness. November 10, 2004, containment procedures dropped, custody of SCP-011 transferred to data expunged. May 17, 2005, data expunged reports that SCP-011 is romantically attracted to her. August 29, 2006, most recent psych test reports an IQ of 133. Recording of SCP-011 and Researcher Blue Clearance given to Researcher Blue to act cordial with SCP-011 to improve object's mood. SCP-011, you're really good at this Call of Duty game friend but I bet on the actual field of battle I would have had your number. Blue, oh there is no doubt there, unless I could bring my own modern gun with me, I would not have stood a chance in hell. SCP-011 Oh don't say that about yourself you're smart enough, I bet you would have been one of the big chiefs on the battlefield friend. But as the old adage goes too many chiefs and not enough Indians and you have lost that battle. Blue, so, I hear you've been phoning over that researcher we got from Site-19. SCP-011, 
Oh I do declare that is about the most beautiful of creatures I have ever seen, in all my years, where did you say she hailed from? Blue, I believe, she's from India, due to the strong accent but it could be somewhere close to there, or carried over with their family when they came stateside. SCP-011, Ah Indiana, such a beautiful state. Blue, no India, it's a country across the sea. SCP-011, you remember my comment from earlier about the chief's and Indian's friend. Blue, yeah? Sounds can be heard of the game coming to a close. Blue, how in the heck did you win I was up by three? SCP-011, nearly all men can stand adversity. But if you want to test a man's character, give him power. War means fighting, and fighting means killing. The crueler it is, the sooner it will be over. Breakdown, it's a statue, that can move and talk and even has feelings, yet it's from an era of war, but it seems to have more smarts than any of them did back then, with the IQ of 133 it could outwit most of us in a chess match. It also shows to have strong feelings towards a researcher which is interesting, maybe being around the object for a long time it grew to trust the researcher and developed feelings, which means it can evolve emotionally. Meaning it may have a soul, this will require further research. If you like this type of content like, comment and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments, I will be doing them in order and adding more of my personal flair to each of the readings. Let me know which is your favorite and I will be sure to add more to that specific one just for you if it's further down the road. Beware the link in the description it might be a cognito hazard.